Good evening, friends, and welcome to the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture. I'm going to try the road, the road that connects the coal mining industry, the two, to the main business, is is complete, which means that this construction office can now have a, a road-bound source of asphalt. And it does. And therefore, uh, we're going to try and pave a few roads down here. Let's see, where, where would you like the main highway? What happened to music machine? All music machine. Why why you fail me now? Hmm. Well, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's rather silent. Uh, okay. Thank you. And they should get going on this uh, rather instantaneously here as we're bringing a paver. And you're going to load 20 something tons of asphalt. You know, it's how, how incredibly long a journey you have ahead of you. It's a good thing that you have filled up the tank. But this, even if it's the 29th of October, even if we didn't do this at high speed, uh, how long does this take? I would actually have a, a caravan almost a convoy here of them yeah, 109 km 110 km per hour very good I have to slow down for the bridge just maybe yeah, a bit Yeah, we'll have snow coverage, uh, I think, most of the time. Uh, it will be snow cleared. Uh, we'll have, we have a fuel station out here in the middle of nowhere. Have you gotten... Yeah, we've gotten fuel. So, I mean, we're pretty well taken care of. It's, it was... Uh, I don't know how many how many years did it take this uh, row. Five years or something. Yes, and the point was to, to be able to pave the streets down at the coal mining, but it doesn't matter, you know, with the streets. We're coming up on, on the farm. <coughs> well, that means we're about halfway <laughs> to the asphalt plant. What was it? The, the something of October. Oh, we have a ship report. Let's just... Oh. That was not bad timing. Thank you very much. It was uh, deliberately set up, obviously. Yes. Are you which I don't know where yeah, you're going to load. You're going down to coal. Yeah we can see. Down there. Very good. This is a bit, bit weak, 82 kilometers per hour at night. Come on. Yeah, I mean do you don't you have high beams? What the hell? Ah, this is a bit ridiculous, I think. This is a bit too slow. Why no? I always thought that this, since they implemented this, that, uh, that uh, 80, 80 is a bit slow. I mean, 100 or 90. If it's 110 during the day, 95. 95, I think, would be a good, <laughs> a good speed limit during night time. Where are we now? We're in oil fields and pumping. Uh, 
pumping, 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 pumping. All the time. Continuous defeating. Into the great network of pipelines. And continuous defeating, therefore, also the oil refinery. It's not yet visible in the distance, but it will soon be revealed. Here we can see the television tower. That's what's sticking up uh, over there. <laughs> over there, yes. This is Utopia Town. But it's not going to be quick laying asphalt like this. The helicopters will be much faster, yes, but it feels a bit silly to, to fly around asphalt. It's also a bit silly to drive asphalt uh, for, for uh, I don't know, two weeks. Uh, it will probably be rather solid when we arrive. Yes, we have a solid 20-ton uh, block of asphalt here. Great. Can we use that to make a road? Well, it will be a very different kind of road. But yes, we can. Uh, we won't get very far. But we can perhaps use it. But I think that we're better off not. Okay then. <clears throat> it's fortunate that the game uh, does not take that into account. <laughs> Freshness of uh, asphalt and concrete. Oh, it's it's, uh, it's a good cut-off point that we have to produce it live. But the ship, I managed to buy asphalt on a ship somehow. So a ship can import it, but I don't think I managed, could manage to export it off the ship. If I ever tried, I don't know. That's it. You made it. 8th of November you're setting off. I don't remember what it was. You have half a fuel tank. That sounds good. Slightly under half a fuel tank. <coughs> but there are two gas stations uh, along the way, so we ought to be fine. But we don't even need to check the, the power <coughs> oil refinery is running at 100%. You want to see? Ah, okay. 95. 90, uh, it will have to do. Yes, plenty of smoke. <coughs> and the power plants. Yeah, now this this will take the same road back. So something is on fire. Uh, this warehouse is that still on fire? Wait, is that still, that that might still be on fire? You know, should we? no. <coughs> the helicopter managed to put out the fire eventually. Okay, <laughs> great. That's that, that is yeah. That's just lovely. Um, this is not looking bad. We have um, one ship, perhaps. Could be multiple ships hiding. Uh, plenty of ships heading this way. Uh, you're standing at the harbor, right? Yes. 9,000. We can use the. Can we, can't we use the overlays? For the, I don't think they show on boat, boats. They, they showed on boats. Or was that something I, I did not. Uh, that, no, I must have imagined. boats uh, here isn't there 
there seems to be another one. Yeah. Yeah, these, these ships, <laughs> ships are working great. Uh, at least we have a uh, we have a hundred percent utilization at utilization productivity at steam with a hundred percent sustained yes that's not bad <clears throat> not that it matters much in the balance sheet I don't think for say ten, 10 years or for however, how long it is we have been doing this here uh, with this cable is not one two one two one two yes uh, it is on its last legs uh, so it's uh, maybe it's this uh, series uh, yes it's probably uh, okay but uh, whilst <laughs> whilst we're here, yes, whilst we're here. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, you were looking at money. Uh, how much have we we actually sold for steel? 69 million. Yes, how much bitumen and fuel and, and other petroleum products in the meantime? Uh, about six, uh, eight, almost eight billion. Yes. And iron, just exporting the, the raw product, 130 million. Okay. Are we making steel very poorly or slowly, or what is? The, yeah, we, have, we we right. We have not had continuous coal supply. It has been very poor. I should hope to see that this increases significantly. But so far we have made a whole lot more money on on this just selling the the iron as it is. At least because we have four iron ore processing plants going all producing a hundred tons of iron a day out of this mountain made out of pure iron almost. That is so damn good. 85% quality of source. Uh, this place isn't uh, half bad. Yeah. Uh, I like this town. Um, it's just a little bit polluted. Unfortunately, and I, I don't like it. If, if one looks carefully here, yeah, we have the, the thing going with uh, these uh, cute little cable cars and so. But if one looks a bit closer, see that no one actually exits from that thing. Everyone walks to the mine. There are people on this, yes. People get on and people maybe get off. I don't know if they get off, but I, they might get off. In either case, they, they stand around here for, for maybe get on one of these, go up and down the mountain and then <laughs> go walk out of the building and then walk back up the mountain that, that they've just traversed uh, very comfortably. That is quite, quite steep and uh, significant. Yep, they are happily walking to, to the iron mine. Not a single person has exited. But, and I, I don't think it has ever happened, but do, do you ever get off or how do you just sit, uh, sit around here? Ah, you, uh, you get off right. And get out and get in. So, so you probably, yeah, that's probably what they do. I could have uh, 
held that person around here, see what you did. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if, if this uh, lover here gets off at the cable way station or if he's stuck. He, he, he did not get off. He, he's back or, or still on. Okay, we might have workers going for for uh, four hours in, in these cabins then hoping to be able to walk into the mud, but they can't. <laughs> it is a bit unfortunate, but it is keeping the mine uh, pretty well fed with workers, though. Pretty much full, actually. Uh, we can. We j we're in a perfect balance with this. We can just make use of all of it. It's very nice. It's no wonder that we make uh, lots of, of uh, money on, on the iron export. Why bother with uh, making the steel? Burning coal and digging for coal. Or importing it, waiting forever for ships to, to come. And it's expensive as hell. Yeah. <coughs> no. Uh, better to just sell iron. I complicated it. I set up here with the boats going all over the place and conveyors and a steel mill yeah, at the heart of it and a railroad. And <laughs> all of the, these things are not strictly necessary, maybe. But uh, it is one way of doing it. I don't know, only at 25%. percent last thing was this. 110 workers. What's this? 170 workers on one of these trains. So they should be, uh, they should be filled. We might be in a bad timing thing. Ah, 173. <laughs> well, okay. That's a full load. Great. And it will be another full load for you once you're done refueling and stopping the whole thing. Maybe uh, maybe it's a good thing that it happens. I don't know. Could lay in a passing track. Could we really? Um, yes. Oh, there is a substation in the way. Could lay in the passing track the other way. Yeah, but this is on the rubbish uh, railroad. Say. Also, it will be a real bother uh, for the construction trains uh, because they're, they, if if one wanted to do a pass over here and get on before the switch, uh, to be able to bypass refueling trains, which doesn't happen very often, I don't think. Yes. Uh, the thing is, the, the, the construction train comes along just like this one, uh, uh, but slower. Uh, and goes off uh, and starts building the thing. Yes, and then it, fl it turns around and wants to go back home. How does it do that? It cannot under current signaling rules and regulations. So therefore, one will have to start with uh, building a little... That's that's not possible quite neither. Now I will have to resignal. Uh, some other infrastructure, yeah, because you're trying to build a bridge. You want uh, wood based railway. <laughs> because this is only for construction purposes. This bit. Now we start with this bit. Now you need to resignal because this has already taken effect. Uh, but also more than re-signal, I think that we should make sure that the construction office is actually sending out the train and working on it. Door two, find it. Yes, but uh, ah, it's closed. Wrecked.
passing track. As, uh, first, you'd have to do this, and in order to do this, uh, sort of have the same problem with getting this train back, but uh, I'll have to help it back by back. Yeah, it can get to here. It can uh, go like so. And I'll have to help it back. It will follow the rules of the... Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Uh, but here we want uh, proper concrete-based railway. But this is going to be cl too close, you see. Yes. It's just not going to do anything, even remotely. That, and that's, uh, that is definitely too sharp a turn. I, I conclude or agree. Uh, <laughs> you strictly need to go here, correct? Uh, it's a bit risky, maybe. But uh, it could work. I uh, cancel railway a bit. Yes, and then we just need to join this uh, at some point. Coming off the curve. Maybe if there wasn't a power line in the way, well, that's okay. Do not snap. Too steep of a descent. Oh, it's not. Uh, there is no descent. It's a bit, uh, <coughs> a bit of a kink or something to to the track, but ah, it's not too bad. How are you doing? Here? You you have not been assigned to construction office for some reason. Do you have workers now? Yes. A road connection does not exist. Yes, it does, if you build it from, from this end. Because you go like so. And then uh, you can't. Uh, <coughs> right. Uh, we're going to have to break the trains uh, for, for a bit. Uh, unfortunately, it's just how, how it has to be. That. <laughs> right. Forget about it. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.